do a uh, quick recording here. I had some questions come up uh, with regard to the new multiply command. And we can see here if I select this element in floor plan, and I've already traced out a couple of paths and have some different options here to review. Uh, if I want this, um, this column to follow this path, I'm going to go to my multiply command. Um, and I can see that there are some definite changes. If I see distribute, uh, minus one is now combined with this toggle on and off. I have spread and increment as usual. Uh, there's an added increment and spread. Uh, this is really the most common one that I use is this, this distribute. So we're going to say that we're going to distribute from point A to B, uh, placing the last one on B. Uh, and let's just say we have 20 of these instances. Uh, now I have this extra content right here saying that I can pick the path, I can uh, define the rotation. These are all really invaluable features uh, in, in ARCHICAD 22. So the first thing I'm going to show is following this curved path, and I want to rotate this column to follow that path so it always stays tangential to the path. Uh, so with pick path before input selected, I'm going to say OK. Uh, and now if I click on that line, and this can be any line, spline, polyline, uh, wall edge, mesh edge, anything with a vector definition, I can say that that's my path. Uh, one thing that I do want to do is I want to click that path as close to the element as possible. Uh, and then I can say that I'm offsetting from the path one way or another, but here I'm going to say that we're offsetting from the origin zero. Uh, that way I can see as I'm following that path, these things snake around and follow the path. Now the cool thing about this on curved paths, uh, it actually rotates to stay relatively tangential to that curve. So now I have, I have uh, uh, if I select here and I look at my settings, I have 21 of those now selected um, because I had 20 selected to multiply and I had one to begin with. There are 21 instances of that column all following that path. Uh, we could do the same thing here with this, this polyline that I've placed. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, go to Command U, uh, and let's go ahead and say that this is random. In fact, let, let's do this. Let's, let's go to uh, a, um, an object as an example. Um, and we're going to go ahead and pull from the ARCHICAD library, exterior improvements, uh, planting, and let's just drop this tree in. So now I'm going to say that that's the tree that I want to multiply. Uh, I'm going to go Command U, uh, and we're going to say that this has a random rotation. Um, and again, we're going to distribute, and let's distribute uh, 10 of these along that path. Still saying pick path before input. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to pick the path. I'm going to say that the offset is actually at the element's origin. Um, and now as I extrude that along uh, and click, now I have all of these trees with a seemingly random rotation, which is uh, really great for the floor plan view because now these don't follow a straight line. They don't have a uniform uh, spread. Uh, as an example, comparing this to the old ARCHICAD offset, if I wanted to offset these, uh, first of all, I couldn't pick a path. I couldn't have a rotation. Um, I could just distribute them. So now if I distribute this the old method, uh, I have uniform, dodgy looking, ugly floor plan trees. Uh, so that random rotation really improves the ability to kind of give an organic feel to how these trees um, look in floor plan view. Uh, I hope this helps you understand this new tool and this new feature.